Hello, this is Becky Edwards of Purpose Driven Motherhood. Welcome to our group of 12 talks in 12 weeks. I am really excited to have you here. I have this collection of just gold nugget talks that I have loved over the years that I have studied and read over and over again. I've shared them, I've blogged about them, I've taught them in institute and seminary, and, and uh, now I'm using them in a group mentoring program. And they're just too good not to share with the masses. So I felt inspired to create a Facebook group that lets anybody who wants to come and, and study these 12 power pack talks over the next 12 weeks. So I'm going to share what these talks mean to me. They boost my faith. They connect me to God and to heaven and to angels and to bring powers of heaven into my life. They, um, they help me be excited about the last days. Sometimes, sometimes I have moments where I'm like, oh, there's so much evil and crime and blah and darkness. But you know what? When I read some of these talks, it just makes me excited for the, to be alive in the last days that we have been sent to this earth with special missions to fulfill, both males and females. And we were given assignments in the pre-earth life, said President Kimball, and we are just as accountable for those assignments as the prophets and apostles. I love that thought. I love getting excited to live my mission. And I love studying how other people did impossible things with God's help because it boosts my faith and my courage and my strength that I can do that too. That with God's help, we can do impossible things. I also love talks that, that really anchor into my soul how important it is to put God and family first. And that my best and highest mission is my own family. That's the most important service I will ever do. So here's how it works. Are you ready? Over the next 12 weeks, every Monday on this group, I will announce the next week, this, this week's talk. And this week's talk is da, 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 Becoming True Millennials by President Russell M. Nelson. This was a worldwide devotional in January of 2016. I have listened to and read this talk over and over. It is so full of gold nuggets. Like check out this page right here. Just check that out. Can you tell I love this talk? Seriously, seriously, I'm going to read one of my favorite quotes, just a little appetizer, wet your whistle. Ready? I promise you that as you consistently give the Lord a generous portion of your time, he will multiply the remainder. Who does not want that promise in their lives, right? Seriously. So here is how it works. Every Monday, you get a new talk. Then all throughout that week, through that whole following week, feel free to interact on the Facebook group and, um, and post your favorite takeaways if you want to create a meme of your favorite quote, if you want to um, you know, share an action that you'd like to do because of something you're inspired from the quote, because the gospel is about thinking about, feeling the truth about, and then doing about the truth that we learn. Thinking, feeling, and doing. And to make it easier for you to discuss, I am, um, I've taken the time to number the paragraphs in this talk. So you can, it makes it super easy, like, oh my gosh, paragraph 17 was my favorite because of such and such, or here's a quote from paragraph uh, 24. So that makes it really easy. Um, you're also welcome to just share other thoughts you have, like, oh my, wow, this talk reminded me of this other conference talk, or this other story, or this other scripture, or um, this, this quote meme, or this poem, or bring, bring other things into it. This will be really, really fun. Um, I, about three summers ago, I felt inspired to do a 90 day Book of Mormon challenge and I just decided to invite, see if other people wanted to join. And eventually we had about 1500 people join that group. It was phenomenal. We had people studying the Book of Mormon consistently who had never read it cover to cover. That made me so happy. It was changing lives. We had families studying it together at that rate at 90 days. That was pretty impressive. Little kids. And I foresee this being the same, that it will change lives. And one of the ways that it will change lives is that not only will we gain a lot from our own study, but we'll bless our families with that. Maybe we'll have a family home evening or we'll have a discussion at dinner or we'll start living at a higher level because of the things we're learning. And then it will go out from our own home and bless the people we serve, bless the people in our circle of influence, and we'll be more of a light. 
But I want to tell you something else, how you can bless the world. And that is to follow Elder Bednar and Elder Ballard's um, encouragement to use social media to spread light and goodness. We know that Satan uses the internet to spread tons of filth and darkness, right? We already know that. But the church uses the internet to spread light and truth and yumminess and uplifting things, right? And we can be a part of that. It's so exciting. So an easy way to do that is right now, just take the URL above this Facebook um, page and post that to your own social media page, whatever that is, and say, hey, anybody want to join this this 12 talks in 12 weeks with me? And and just bring invite more people in. That is so awesome. Another way you can use social media to spread goodness is each week, I invite you to do this, even if it feels a little nervous, each week post what you loved about this week's talk. You're welcome to also post the links that I give. I'll give you a printable link with the paragraphs number, and I'll give you a link to watch the talk. So you can do one or both. And you can feel free to grab those, copy and paste them to your own page, and then say, hey, here's the talk I'm studying this week. Here's my favorite takeaways. Here's a quote meme, whatever. And or make a video of it, if, of you talking about it if you want. Whatever you want. But I invite you to take that next step up. Don't only, don't only study these for yourself and your family and those in your influence circles, but then use social media to spread goodness, just like apostles have asked us to do. So I welcome you. I'm so excited. Oh, one more little thing. If you would like to um, form like a little study group, feel free to say, hey, I'm looking for 12 friends on this group to who want to meet on Tuesdays at noon on the internet or, you know, and you can use like freeconferencecall.com or Zoom or whatever. And feel free if you want to have more of a live uh, chat of a discussion. That's totally cool too. So welcome. I'm so excited to have you in joy. Enjoy being filled with light every time you come to this group. Uh, feel free to interact and comment on each other's posts. And if, if you don't have time for that, you just want to read each week and not even really deal with the Facebook group, totally cool. You engage at the level that you feel good about. And whatever you do, just enjoy the yummy, delicious light that these talks are provided by these beautiful servants of God.